Hi, beautiful. Today, I'm going back to hair school. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm excited. But this time, the school is gonna be taught not by a cosmetology teacher, but a random civilian that I found on YouTube. I just thought it'd be f hilarious to try and follow a DIY haircut tutorial of somebody who does not know how to do hair. That just sounds so fun. Why am I doing this? I see so many people having so much fun doing these DIY haircut videos. I want to know what it's like. I thought I would grab this mannequin today and just see how it goes and probably um, point out everything they're doing wrong while we go through the haircut. I hope the haircut comes out decent because Miss Mannequin is really mad at me for many reasons. I'm trying to gain her her trust back and it's not working. But today, we'll probably ruin that trust again, but hopefully not. Well, why don't I pull up the video, grab my client, get her shampooed and ready to go, and start the damn haircut. Let's do it. Can I get a round of applause, please? Hi, Miss Mannequin. She misses you guys, oh my God. This mannequin does not have much hair, I will tell you that. Is this gonna be enough hair for me? I sure hope so. Put your head back, please. I got a comb, I got some scissors, we got some clip -roonies. we're ready to go. Oh, I'm excited. So this lovely tutorial is brought to us by Cattell Candle. You are here to teach me how to cut hair. Okay, so you guys could probably already tell by the title of this video what I'm gonna be doing today. I got these expensive scissors. That's actually very true. If one of you guys can guess how much these cost, I'll give you nothing, but they're expensive. I love to switch up my looks. Like I get really, really, really bored very fast and I just like to like constantly be looking different. We're just gonna get right into it. And the great thing about hair is that you can always change it. You're not stuck with a color or stuck with a cut. To make my hair easier to cut, I did leave a little bit of conditioner in it when I washed it because my hair is like insanely dry right now. And then I'm just gonna add some serum to make it even easier. I'm gonna use a cream. I, I think she's using more of a cream. I'm not using like a, a oil. I'm using electric grain. It's a good idea. I like to make the hair smooth before I cut it too. Not too smooth though, or else it gets too slippery. This is great. We're off to a great start. See, Miss Manny kind of no need to worry about your hair. You're gonna look so good. I am going to part my hair down the middle. She's already parted down the middle. You're gonna split your hair oh, oh. in the middle, like down to your ears. Oh, so we're doing like real sectioning. Okay, you didn't tell me you were actually gonna like do this. Uh, you're speaking my language, girly. You're doing four sections? Ah getting hot in here. I was gonna braid it and keep it in place, but you know, she doesn't do that. So I'm not going to. My teacher doesn't say to do it. I'm not gonna do it. This girl's head is tiny. I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna section this out. Boom, hot, fierce. Let's keep going. It's gonna be super easy to tell because my roots right now are pretty grown, but I just split it right there. And then I'm gonna do the same to this side. I'm gonna do this side one more time just cause it feels a little bit thicker. I'm honestly, like at this point, like happy because she at least sectioned it. My standards are so on the floor low at this point. If you can section your hair. It's music to my ears, baby. I'm gonna use like a scrunchie to hold the back piece. I don't have a scrunchie. I separated my hair. I don't have a scrunchie, I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna use a clip. I know, call me old school, but. I'm just gonna drag okay, she... these, these parts forward. She's brushing it forward. Okay, so we're gonna brush it forward. If you really think about this, with a shag haircut, you know, everything is going forward. I like that she's directing the hair in the way that she's going to wear it. And hopefully she's gonna cut a nice oval sort of shape out of the hair. So it says to make a triangle. Okay, we're making a triangle for the bangs. I already have bangs, which is perfect. Let me just fix them now that we're here. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little triangular section. That's a big triangle, baby. All right, she already has bangs, so I am going to cut bangs. This looks like about what she has, right? So here's my triangle section. We're just gonna cut some bangs, I guess. Can you move your head up? Can you move your freaking... Mm. Thank ya. I'm gonna grab my shears and we'll just do a cut a rooney. I'm doing the same thing she did, okay? She literally just took the hair and did a straight across line, so... That's what we're gonna do. I probably wouldn't have made it so straight because you're doing a shag. You want to be all feathered out, really light and airy with a lot of layering. Doing a straight across line is not gonna give you that. 
There we go. You're looking so beautiful. This really does make me sad though. We should have beveled the bangs out. They're too straight. God damn it. I would probably start off with a little bit longer if you are just cutting them. I'm gonna clip back this side. Well, you should have told me that first. Okay, let's get started, guys. What I saw the technique was you're just gonna pull and twist. You guys will see right now. We're doing a twist and pull, baby. Okay. Guys, what the f <laughs> Hold on, I need to like check back with I'm literally gonna be cutting my hair in this Zoom call. I thought I had it down and now I'm like, wait, what the f might I add here that a shag is a very technical haircut. Um, it's not something that, I mean, at least for me, I didn't learn this in hair school. You're taught the very basics. This is more of an advanced haircut, something that involves a lot of creativity and a lot of precision and a lot of disconnection, but connection and then elevation and over direction. There's a lot that goes into this. Point cutting. I mean, there. Is, if you want to pick a difficult haircut to do, it's this. So good job. Scratch that I'm gonna make my little triangle bigger because I already have bangs and I want to include all of the bangs girl we already cut the bangs just trust me guys I know I kind of know what I'm doing I don't key is you just want to keep pulling similar um, sections that go like in parallel with these lines you guys are basically learning with me because I literally have a YouTube video open on my laptop right now just in case it goes wrong I don't know what she's doing. I really want to do what she's doing, but I don't know what she's doing. I have no idea. Okay, so she said she she used the triangle. That's what she said. Um, okay, that makes a little bit of sense. The next part is when she cuts it. And I don't know what where her guide is or what she's trying to cut. Um, it seems as if she's kind of just pulling this down and then like cutting it. Like I physically, I, I can't tell what she's doing. I don't think she knows what she's doing either. So it makes sense that I don't know either. Okay, um, I guess she kind of just pulls it forward. I hate it guys. Can I just do it right? I mean, what I would do is like bevel the bangs around her face shape, but she seems like she's just cutting like layers like this. Jesus Christ, I don't know. I really don't know. Like that's what she did. But how does she know it's the same length on each side? Uh, I guess like this, this is what she was doing. Oh my God. Okay, we'll cut the other side, I guess. Oh, so gorgeous. Okay, great. And then I think the next section, she kind of just like, <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I'm like not talking. I'm like really like trying to focus on my hair. My bangs are like really up. So I know you're supposed to like cut it all the same length, but because my bangs are so short and I'm trying to grow them out, I'm using another layer. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. She said she's using another layer. I wanted to be able to do this. I really did, but I'm already lost. I don't even know how to continue because if I cut this off like she's doing, it's gonna be really bad. I mean, I guess I have to, right? Like, I guess I just need to do what she did. Just cut these fucking things right off the ends. Like, what is that? She said she's just basically just like combing everything forward and following like the guide of her long layers. Well, it's looking a little shaggy, I guess. Definitely not what, not what I would have done. And if you're interested at all in what I would have done in this situation is pull these hairs forward like this, bring the scissors in and cut around the face shape. All right, that way you get those layers all around your face and it looks beautiful. All right, let's continue though. What? What? Okay, I can see, I can see the angles. <laughs> You can, cause I can't. Um, I don't know how you're even getting an angle. Am I like dumb? Like what's going, I don't know what, how. I just don't know what she's cutting. Let's pull another piece forward. Let's use our, our guide that doesn't, that's not really a guide to cut the next section. 
Okay, let's do the other side. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a mullet. That's a mullet. That is a mullet. Okay, let's keep going. Cool, I'm almost done. I don't know how it ended up getting so long. I'm just going to add length where I see fit. Like, I'm just gonna do this, okay? Because I want this to look like a little bit good. So I am going to do sort of what she's doing. I'm doing what she's doing. I am, because I feel like that's what she's doing is like adding length somewhere as she cuts, but I can't quite discover how she's doing it. Ugh, these sections are so thick. I'm cheating a little bit, I have to admit. Like, I'm just like, I'm making it like at least work. I totally followed her directions. I mean, it definitely looks shaggy. I'll tell you that much. I want to do like an actual shag haircut though. I want to make it look good. Like I want to fix that so bad. She's artsy, she's cool. Let me cut the other side, I'll be right back. This is so hard because I'm following no guide. And if you don't know what a guide is, it's basically like the part that you cut first that guides the rest of the haircut to make sure everything's even and nice. Right now I'm just going in blindly because she didn't make a guide. I don't even know where her guide is. I don't know if she even wanted a guide. Girl, how are you gonna make it through without a guide? How are you gonna make it through without a guide? You're not. Shaggy baby, oh my God. Uh... Listen, the shag works for her face shape, I will say that. Damn, girl, hello. I wish it was a good shag, but it's, it'll do. We've made it to the back. I don't know what she's doing here. Like, I still don't know. I have no idea. Girl. I really wanted to keep the length, so I feel like this is very fun and like still somewhat short. So I like it, I like it. You're gonna wanna center your hair in the middle and then pull the pieces forward just like these pieces are. So. I'm just gonna use a comb. We're pulling it forward. No, we're still using this guide of nothing to cut the back. Everything's just <laughs> pulled forward. So what I can just say is like, he is very dramatically placed the back hairs over. I'm like, if, <laughs> If Brad Mondo wants to do a review on this video and he's like, yeah, don't do that. Um, it's gonna work. <laughs> um, no, no hate on Brad Mondo. I love his videos. I watch him like all the time and I'm hoping one day he'll do a review on me cutting my hair. So maybe this will be the one. You're welcome. I'm doing better than a review. You're teaching me how to do hair. You manifested this. We are still doing this technique of bringing everything forward, I guess. I hate it. I really hate this. Bring it all forward and then cut basically wherever we want is kind of what I'm getting. I just don't know where she's cutting. I think she's bringing it like all the way out here and then kind of like cutting it. Right. Well, it's definitely gonna give you some interesting layers. Oop. We're on the ground, we didn't see that. No, we didn't, Ms. Money Queen. I swear to God, if this comes out good, I'm gonna like throw her. No, I actually do want it to come out good. You're definitely gonna get layering this way, but you know what would've been a better way? On the back here, doing some rounded layering, pulling it 90 degrees from the head and cutting your layers. See, now we have this weird like triangular bit up here. We don't want that, that's gonna be heavy. I would cut that off, but I'm not going to because it's your haircut, not mine, girl. We don't want that. You want roundness in the back. You want that like helmety, like shaggy, cool. But this is your, this is your art piece. I want you to be you, but at the same time, don't be. So we finished this side. It's shagged, let's finish the other side. I have the idea of it, but I do want to make it a little bit shorter, make it a little bit choppier. We definitely have the same sort of thing going on, so I'm kind of proud of myself, and you kind of did teach me how to do this, so. I kind of dig it because the thing about me is like I'm super indecisive. Some days I'll really like the short, and I'm like, yeah, this is a vibe, and then some days I'm like, fuck. I wish I still had my long hair. Definitely gonna go in, make it a little bit shorter, just cause I kind of envision like a shorter look. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like I have a lot of layers, which is kind of like what I wanted, considering the fact that I really wanted to like keep my length of hair in the back. Okay, well, listen, I'm gonna finish this haircut. But before I do that, if you had a good shag, it would look so good on you. Got somebody who knows how to do really good shags and get it done. You just need texture, listen to me. You need to 
please put some point cutting in there. Get a little bit of that weight out. It's too heavy. And get more roundness. Right now it's just all blocky and, you know, it's fine. Like, it's cool. You're a cool girl. But, like, next time just don't. But thank you for this. This wonderful thing that you taught me how to create. I'm gonna blow dry it and then I'm gonna attempt to fix it and you guys can watch if you would like. I give that haircut tutorial a solid 5 out of 10. You sectioned and you followed an imaginary guide, which I appreciate. All right, we're gonna spray some force field heat shield, protect her hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and a little hydromania conditioning mist because her hair is dry as a bone. So here it is, the <laughs> shag. We got the thing, we did it. Um, so this is what happens when you don't do it correctly. Ah, uh, uh, um, it definitely looks like the girls, like how she did it. So go me, I guess I follow the directions correctly. I was gonna try and fix it, I can't. It'll take so long, don't make me do it, please. This is what you're getting today. <laughs> and this is what happens when you follow a DIY haircut tutorial on YouTube. Oh, it's bad, it's really bad. Let me talk about my favorite part about the haircut, uh, and that is that there's no layering back here. There's nothing, like this piece goes down to here. Where's the layering? Shags are supposed to be like beautifully layered haircuts. Where's the layering? What is this? <laughs> Ew. This is it? This is how you wanted me to cut her hair? Girl, I'm so sorry. I know you were already mad at me, but you're gonna be even more mad at me now. And I'll fix it one day. I will. I'm probably not gonna fix it, honestly, Miss Manny Quinn. I don't have the time, girl. I don't. I'm sorry. All right, well, that was tragic, but also really fun. If you guys aren't already following me everywhere else, make sure you do. Here are all my social media handles all around me. If you're not already subscribed, you can do that if you want, and you can also click the bell icon and the like button. The bell icon will notify you every time I post a new video. If you guys like to check out my hair care brand or any of the products used in today's video, you can do so at xmodohair.com or xmodocolor.com for hair color. You can also check out our Instagrams for inspiration of amazing hairstyles, at xmodohair and at xmodocolor. Check out my Live Your Extra Life merch. It is available right down below. You can shop it at xmodohair.com. It is so cute, it is so fierce. I wear it literally every day. Make sure you guys text me at this number. Yes, it is really connected to my phone. Yes, I really see some of your messages and yes, I'll be texting back some of you guys if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Caitlin. She says, hey Brad, my hair has always been half brown, half blonde, and it's just so boring. I want a big change. With my undertone, I'm cool neutral, and I've always wanted the full blonde moment. What type of blonde should I go? Okay, I know you're looking for a change, but I love your hair, especially this curly picture. Oh my God. Go really, really bright blonde. I would just do more highlights, like really close to your root all over. But I I love what you have right now. And it really shows off the texture of your hair. So, you know, you could go blonder or you could stay how you are. Fine, go blonder. I know you want to, so just do it. I hope that helps and good luck if you end up doing it. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.